They could have spent less on engineering and more on human comfort. What about that ski mask that came out this week? <laughs> it doesn't has it hurt your neck to have that on for too much? Yes. Well, I mean, it does with the Oculus for me. It hurts my nose. I mean, it, this is heavy. It's got a big battery. And, and, and I mean, it's not like you and I have used some AR stuff. Yeah. yeah. I do it so I can lean back. I'm not standing up at my desk with the, I mean, imagine the neck problems from it. But are people going to build it? Is this just another? Uh, are people going to buy it because it's Apple, dude? That's what, that's what I'm unfortunate. I don't know, 3500 bucks for a display. Well, you know that price will come in, right? They just got to, they've got to pay off all the. <coughs> The, the capex for building it. and then At they first, can, it's, oh, look what I have. Other people don't. Yeah. First of all, I'm really cool. And so look at this me This is why you should now. go to the Centurion Dude, it's Lodge a virginity in LA. protector, man. You're, no one's going to be looking at me. I'm really cool. <laughs> I, I will also say that, gosh, I just, yeah, I, I don't like to wear sunglasses, reading glasses, any kind of glasses. I'm not used to it. I haven't yeah. done it since forever. But I also just don't like it. It distracts me. How is that going to be? Something that well, it's immersive. Wants to wear. I mean, that's like the you can just put a box around your head. The old Oculus and others, it does kind of feel like you're in there mm -hmm. until you trip. See, that's what I was thinking. The workers' <laughs> comp come yeah. into the office, put the thing on your head, and then you get 12 months of disability. Ooh, right. That's good. I like that. There's no way that's not being priced in somewhere. Someone at State Farm is getting have to super be. excited it's right now. It's a ski mask. Look, look at it. It's a ski mask. Well, I don't ski. I don't have the money. Like our ski goggles. You know what I'm talking about? It, I mean, I don't I don't ski either, but I've seen them before. <laughs> I mean, look. It, so do you know if I, I heard, like, I don't know if it's rumors or, like, I, I just heard that those are not her eyes. Like, they're, it's totally opaque. And they <laughs> pump out a feed of the camera feed of your eyes. That's, that's hilarious. I that's hope true. that they spend engineering resources on that. Like, that brings a little magic back into the world, you know? Does it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I, ho I hope that that's something they thought, this is something we need. Can you uh, pull up pull up a picture of my X reels that I have? Like, I don't I don't have, have them with me. Uh, how many dongles like do you have to from, buy? While you're looking that up, from, uh, from Seeking Alpha, there's an article from Seeking Alpha that says, the Vision Pro is the spatial computing platform of the future, and everyone will want to buy one. Exclamation point. I'll first discuss computer cloud. First of all, for $3,500, I don't want to buy one. Mm -mm. Right? I've had this same Apple laptop, Airbook, whatever you want to call it, since 2012. I don't want to buy something new for 3500 bucks. Yeah. I can't Still even works. update the Chrome browser on mine. <laughs> you got to bring it in to a genius, and they'll just wipe the whole thing and start over. <laughs> but then I lose all the... I know. I get made but, fun of because I, I have I a couple. But I still thirty five hundred bucks. I'm not spending it. I don't. I don't want to spend thirty five hundred bucks on something me, that I'm going to wear. That, as I mentioned before, I have a pair of the the, the first generation bows, and usually they over engineer those to not break. Right. Right. Wore for like three months, broken. Yeah. Hey, you got your bows with you, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Show you can put them up. Show them if you got them yeah. in your handy, like what he's talking about. Uh, but the, to me, here's the problem with this thing, and I, I, as an Apple. Like as a company like Apple, I can't believe that mm -hmm, they wouldn't. Mm -hmm. See, look at these things. Like this is this is augmented reality, like you know, wearable tech. Yep. Same ones. Yep. Yeah, light, easy. Yeah, broke. Now, great. Well, <laughs> sure, but it's also not thirty five hundred bucks. It's like right. one hundred and fifty now, right? Yeah, yeah. But so, why are they? You're basically it's it's more powerful. It's twice as powerful as the top of the line MacBook. This the ski goggle thing. Good and, lord. And so it's got two processors that you would normally have one of in your in your in your laptop. Mm -hmm. Why are you strapping that to your face? <laughs> Why not have that like so the X reels, the bows, all that stuff? It connects either wirelessly or wired to an external device where it, that is precision engineered to be body, that yeah. thing. Yeah. Why are you putting all that weight on your neck and your nose like? Even just a regular Oculus that's just a display. Did they I can't talk wear about it for more that? than an I haven't hour. seen I mean I saw the people making fun of it and the price. Did they talk about the weight and how that impacts a human being? I don't know. I mean I just anybody who's ever worn VR glasses has to know though. Like it's that's the main reason why I stopped playing with Oculus. Did you see Zuckerberg's email, our little post? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, it's "Why not did they do that? Like yeah. it was like a five-year-old going, I don't understand. Go why? 
I thought it was hysterical because yeah. it actually, like, he woke up and was like, well, I'm, I'm glad we didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that metaverse thing. We are, we are okay, guys. We're going to be okay. It's one pound. I'm blown it's, away. It says it's one pound. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, you take two and a half pounds, like, the can of, of a can of soup. Like, if you're working on, like, you know, some issues with your neck or your back, they take two and a half pounds, just a can of soup, and you go like this, like, ten Dude, you need times. a better physical it's therapist hard. if they're handing you a soup can. I'm giving you the weight equivalent. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just right? saying. They right. have tools now. So, so legit, like, that much weight on something that isn't meant to support much weight. Like, yeah. you know when you, you ever go get a haircut, and it's like, you can just feel like this massive like, amounts oh of God, yeah, yeah. So great. <laughs> Art, you know, wearing a hat. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you can feel it. It's a. Uh, what are you going to do? I mean, are they walking around with that? I, I don't understand. Like, I don't, I almost understand a human docking system better. Like stepping into <laughs> human docking system. <laughs> Is that coming next? Yeah, like, yeah. That makes more sense. Like yeah. you step into it and it's got something that that would seem to make more sense. And I bet you for thirty five hundred bucks, I bet you for six or seven hundred, I could do a physical rig. Yeah. I mean, how much is a walking desk now? Uh, well, you know? it's still so like a hundred bucks. Something that kind of leans back yeah. and kind of—they mm -hmm. could have spent less on engineering and more on human comfort. Oh, they just got to get the candy out there. Got to get you hooked so, on. And then it's the a quarter of pound office. lighter than an Oculus, according to. So Mark. okay, people use the Oculus. Yeah, but not for work purposes. Like, so I can tell you because I work. I use my my X reels for work purposes. I can go about six hours. With the screen that close to my eyes before. I know what the problem is. He does more than 15 minutes of work a week. <laughs> he's, he's thinking about doing six hours of work a day. And yeah, no, the people buying this, they do maybe, maybe 15 minutes. But that's minutes how they're pitching this thing, though. They're yeah. pitching this thing as a work collaborative. We're going to come tool. into the office and then you're going to go into the virtual world because we need it in the office because it's too expensive for you to take home. Yeah. Yeah, it's like coming to the office and do Zoom calls. So there was this. Uh, <laughs> you know, this, this famous thing where Michael Bloomberg walks into one of the headquarters or whatever Bloomberg and he sees somebody playing Nintendo or something he's like you're fired you're out of here it's like you wear those things no one knows what you're doing <laughs> yep. no, no, boss, I'm working. that's the whole point of having a screen you know <laughs> yeah oh my gosh yeah I'm not getting a pair how do you fake that <laughs> like they have mouse jigglers but what would you how would you fake what you're doing inside of the? Are you running Spotify on the side while you're got a movie playing? And I mean, you've got infinite screens. Why not? You know? God, I'm just thinking about sitting at my desk, looking at it. I've got two screens and stuff going on. And like, if I turn my television on in the corner, that's what it feels like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and now they have to track your eyeballs to see if you're actually focusing on what you want to focus on. And they spit out a report to Microsoft Teams telling you how productive you were that week. <laughs> I can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I can't hear. Hold on. Can I hear myself? Yeah. So I uh, see this maybe. So first of all, there's there's a couple things, right? The appleification of everything. Um, you know, people said very similar things about you know iPhones or other Apple products about being overpriced, but we still buy the MacBook, and sure, some of us keep it for ten years, but. Um, <laughs> Uh, I see it, and it's going to be inevitable that something like this from Apple is going to, you know, they, they're they so good at social engineering and telling us what we need, even if we can't afford it. Half these people walking around with iPhones, can they really afford the iPhone? I don't know. Um, the utility it gives them, maybe. But then I also see this as if they, if they make it right, I don't see any difference from like other VR headsets really, but if there is an improvement in the immersion or the, they're good at UI UX, right? I mean, so if they do it right, I could see it being used as a tool for graphic artists, digital artists, or I saw people like editing videos on there. I don't know who's gonna use that, but I don't know, playing devil's advocate, I guess. I, mean, I, I, got, I don't have a problem with the price point. Like, I like expensive stuff, you know, like if it's quality, but I don't think this is quality. Like, just, it's it's still using a broken VR paradigm, which is too much weight on the face, and you can't use it for anything that you want to be productive with. If you want to play a video game with it, yeah, but then you're relegating it to something other than what they're marketing it as. Mm -hmm. I've got lots of expensive Apple things I can't ever use again because they've changed the dongles or whatever. Yep. But there's a mistake in saying, oh, they've done it before or it's over-engineered. It's not that. It's pretty. 
That's what Apple is. It's pretty and it's functional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Budweiser was a great marketing company for many years. They have not been in the last 10, 15 years. They're not what they were before they got sold to InBev. Mm -hmm. So this idea that just because a company's been around, they're always great and gets to go back 100 years, that is a mistake in today's world. Hey, thanks for watching The Merge. We've got a ton more stuff for you to watch on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok, everywhere. Check us out.